Hi, I'm Fred McNeil, and you're watching QAC TV, and you're watching a program called Up Close. We go around on a regular basis and introduce you some of the wonderful people who are helping make your county government work successfully. I'm delighted to have with me Chip Price today, and Chip, thanks a million for Price being here. Uh, Chip is the director of parks, and I also just found out minutes ago, Chip, like me, is a Doctor Who fan. All right, All right. our secret society <laughs> of Doctor Who's. Uh, Chip, tell us a little bit about yourself. Where'd you grow up? Well, I grew up on Kent Island. So you're a native. A native, about five generations on Kent Terrific. Island. Terrific. I'm aware of. <laughs> and I uh, you know, grew up there, uh, went and graduated from Salisbury State College. Okay. Salisbury University. Went, now to, went to Queen Anne's County High. Went to Queen Anne's County High. When did you graduate? In 1968. Oh, so you were like the second or third class. Mm -hmm. You were very mm -hmm. early. Okay. Yep. So and went to school and then... Uh, after there, my bulk of my career has been with the Department of Natural Resources. So you were state. You retired from the state. Mm -hmm, retired okay, from great. the state. What were you? I mean, what were you doing uh, with the state? Uh, I was worked at the Program Open Space. Okay. And with Program Open Space, we provided grants throughout the state to uh, Park and Recreation Departments for the acquisition and development of parkland. So I was very. It's a fantastic program because, uh, what half the counties, if not all the counties in the state, have this wonderful green areas thanks to that grant. They, they all benefit from it, and it's uh, funded by the state transfer tax, which is a one half one percent tax on the transfer of property. So if you were to buy a hundred thousand dollar property, you would be paying five hundred dollars into this tax. It's then used for all these conservation programs. Help Via, us buy green space and other things. Uh, ag land preservation, rural legacy, um, again, program open space. So. All those are funded through this program. So uh, then I retired. I was retired last June, June 2014. And then uh, the opportunity came up to help reestablish the Parks Department in Queen Anne's so County. What did you get? Two, two week retirement, yeah. they hired you. <laughs> Had a little time off. Okay. And it, um, it was a challenge that I really look forward to because during my time working for the Department of Natural Resources, which is about 35 years, I'd always held Queen Anne's County in high esteem, not only because I'm from here. Sure. But they, I've seen all the other parks departments, they're all great, but Queen Anne's County can do so much with so little. It was really uh, and an honor to come here. And we have some beautiful parks. We'll talk about those in mm -hmm. a minute, all right? We will. So you've been with us, this is now over a year now. Uh, well, oh, since January. It's just oh, started oh, January. Oh, January. Okay, good, yeah. all right. Mm -hmm. So what, are you reorganizing the department or what's going on? We are. We're trying to beef the department back up to basically uh, what it was in, in uh, 2011 about the same amount of staffing. Okay. And uh, what we're trying to do is uh, bring the parks up to a level where everybody has a place in the park. Everybody has a reason to go to the park. Seniors, young people, Seniors, families, young people, whatever. Yes. Okay. We really, um, we have a lot of work to do to get enough fields for organized sports. We need more soccer fields and Softball, lacrosse fields. Lacrosse, and all all those. Okay. And we're doing that. But what we don't, we don't want to forget the other folks. Uh, like I, that I like to refer to as, you know, we have a lot of uh, effort into organized sports. The active but recreator. We're, but we're yeah. also big fans of disorganized sure, sports. Okay. <laughs> so we want everybody to have a reason to come to the park. And not only uh, by coming to the park, what it'll do, it'll, it'll build individuals, and then that builds families, and the families build communities. And so they have we a really, tradition of using our parks. We, we really consider the parks are, uh, we want it to be a, a mainstay for our, our communities in Queen Anne's County. And bring everybody out. Everybody has a reason to play. You don't just go to the park and watch other people. You have a reason to be there yourself. So we want to increase the other opportunities, such as uh, more walking trails around the perimeter of parks. Um, we want to provide more unusual things, like frisbee golf or sure. um, anything that would encourage people to come out. Volleyball is getting really big. A couple now. people want to that. go out and play volleyball, throw frisbees, take a walk, attract yeah. them out. Exactly, and. And we're anxious to hear from the people and let us know what it is they'd like to try. Because we, we don't want to lock them in to say, these are your choices and that's it. We want to open the parks up to opportunity because, again, we want everybody to find their place in the park. That's great. Hey, Chip, help us inform the taxpayers a little bit. What does the, I mean, you've mentioned a whole bunch of things. What does the Department of Parks actually do? What, what are the different functions? The Department of Parks, uh, right now, we, the Parks Department maintains the facilities we have now. Okay, all of our fields. And we all have of over 3,000 acres mm -hmm. that we're responsible for the maintenance of. Um, actually, 3,300 and some because we also have to maintain all the grounds of all the schools sure. in Queen Anne's County. So we do all the snow removal, we do all the mowing, you line we take, the fields, line the, the fields, high school cut the grass, right? uh, you know, pull the drags over the fields. We do all that. 
Um, and we have a staff of uh, 38, so up to 40. I think we'll top out at 42. Okay. And uh, so it's a lot of work for it is a lot. I mean, just the high people. school fields is a lot of work, not mentioning mm -hmm. the parks and all these other fields you take right. care of. And then the parks department, as it's organized now, consists of not only all the parks and taking care of the schools, but we also have the airport and we have the golf course under us as well, as well as all the public landings. We have um, 18 public landings. Mm -hmm. We have uh, two... Uh, public piers, fishing piers. We have three marinas in addition to all the other parks. And Blue Heron, as a guy who plays there a couple times a week, it's the best shape I've ever seen it. It's yep. been cleaned up, the trees trimmed. You guys have Eric, done a Eric great Bofay job. Eric does a great job down there. Yeah. Um, we have um, uh, 22 parks. So there's 22 parks. 22 parks. Okay. We have 10 natural areas. Um, we have a total number of fields uh, that we take care of, 77, I believe, mm. 77 or not 72. Not counting the high school fields. Right, correct. Not, not, <laughs> it's right. a lot of work, Chip. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's a lot of work, and the folks here do a great job. They're all dedicated to parks. Um, it's like a family, and they're, they want to get the job done for the residents of Queen Anne's County. Which is great. Yep, so we're working on it. We're trying to get things cleaned up. Our first thing we're addressing are safety issues. During the interim, when we, the Parks Department wasn't its own entity, mm -hmm. we had some things, as you would expect, the money was not much money there, so things fell off a little bit. So we're trying to address safety issues first. That's about safety of using the parks, you mean? Okay. Yes, yes, uh, which means a lot of trail repair. We have a lot of that well, to I've do. I've seen what you've done at the golf course. Yep. If somebody's done this, then it looks great. And they... Um, so we're going to address safety issues, and then we want to address maintenance issues. We want to stop long-term chronic maintenance issues uh, so we don't have to go back and repair stuff over and over again in a piecemeal fashion. We want to take care of it one time and be done with it. So those are the two main things we're doing, as, as well as, at the same time, we're trying to bring in more athletic fields. We have four new fields that will be going in over at White Marsh Park. We have ten... And there'll be lacrosse. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay, great. We have... a. Uh, 10 athletic fields, multi-use fields going in down at Davison Park on Kent Island. So that's, we're getting approval to start on that. We have some uh, program open space grant money for that as well. Um, we're going to be rehabbing the playground down at Old Love Point Park okay. to make it ADA accessible. Um, so there are a lot of You're different You're kind of projects. busy, aren't you? You're kind we, of busy. We, we have put a lot on the plate knowing that we probably won't be able to do it all, but we want to make sure we don't have any downtime whatsoever. Which is great. Yeah. Chip, let me ask you, you made a comment earlier. You like input from the public. Correct. And how do they contact you and your staff? They can contact us. Here's another thing we need to work sure, on. Sure, sure. Um, we have to work on our webpage because there are some mistakes on there right now. We've only now. been here since January. You can't do it January. all, Chip. Okay. And again, we're addressing safety issues first. Um, but they can call our office at 410-758-0835. Okay. Uh, they can do that. and uh, If they have a specific question about a park or right. fields or mm -hmm. maintenance or safety, use that number. Say that number one more time, please. 410-758-0835. Okay. Uh, Jill Brannick is a reservation person. She can take care of reservations for her facilities. And let me interrupt you. For, let's, talk, let's talk about that for a second. Mm -hmm. If I say, hey, you know what? I need some field time. What mm -hmm. is the procedure? You would call our office and talk okay. to Jill Brannick. Okay. Uh, she runs the software for reservations, and you can reserve a field if, if you'd like. Is there a charge? There is a charge. Okay. Yeah, and we're we're reevaluating that too. Um, but yeah, there are a number of facilities that we have that you can rent. You can rent a picnic pavilion. You can rent of course okay. Conquest is only by permit. Um, so there there are varying charges depending on what you want to rent. Um, we have. All types, types of different facilities, and that's how for Jill. I mean, yes, if you, for Jill. If you see a Jill field Brenner. or some facility, and she'll give you the price, the availability, and if you want it, book you in. Exactly, she'll she'll take care of all that. Um, so we have a lot of facilities. We want to see people out in the parks. Which is great. Uh, and hopefully, you and I were talking as we walked over here, we'll be able to start soon a weekly show where we'll go to different parks and show people these. I mean, I, Chip, I told you walking over, I've lived here almost 40 years. I'd never been to Terrapin Park for a year or two. What a gorgeous spot. The beach is pristine. Just the way the gentle waves come in, the mm -hmm. view of the bay. And we, we're full of parks and facilities like that in this county. Exactly. We're, we're really rich in parks. The... the um, the Department of Natural Resources program open space sets a requirement of 30 acres per thousand residents. And at, that's, that's when you've met your acquisition goal right. from their standpoint. And in Queen Anne's County, we're just about double that. Mm. 
Very good. So it's it's amazing how much parkland there We've is. Done, someone's done a good job to make sure we have this parkland. And now we just need more and more people to use it, correct? Exactly. Use it and use it wisely. Okay. Uh, because the, the saying in parks is that use prevents abuse. So the right. way you get apart from not being abused get is you have other, other people, people out there. Um, and the other thing, uh, uh, the poet Baba Jian, he's a Sinhalese poet, uh, once said, said, you can serve what you love, you love what you understand, and you understand what you're taught. Okay, so we've so, got Doctor Who, we've got Sinhalese poets here. I'm going to well, see how you end this show up. Yeah. Good, that's a great quote, and that's but that, important. But that's, it is important that people go out and learn about what they have here. The things that make Queen Anne's County different than Montgomery County or sure. Prince George's County or Somerset County, what is it here that really makes the county unique? and it makes it our home, and that's basically the natural resources. And sure. so we need to get people it's out to enjoy that. quality of life we have. Exactly. It makes it not only our schools great, but like you said, our open space and our parks. It's wonderful. Right? Mm -hmm. It's a wonderful place to grow up as a child and be an adult also, obviously. One of those wonderful places right well, here. Let's talk about where right we are now. Queen Anne's Cowan Fall, Fallen Heroes Memorial. So this is out at Route 18 Park, and again, one of the ones that our folks maintain take care of and i've seen people jogging and walking you and we just had a gentleman come up and look at this and this is the fall, fallen heroes memorial and uh, how far is the lap around uh, the uh well, walk you have me all that. that's I'm okay not, i'm not certain that's all right but it's beautiful setting mm -hmm. yeah, it seems like there's always a breeze you got softball going on night people jogging the trail and it's just great okay yep chip let me ask you one more question i'll let you get back to work if you had a magic ball where, where do you want to be taking parks and recs in the county in the next five or ten years? Well, if I had a magic ball, where I would like to take them, again, is making parks an integral part of everybody's life every day. We don't want people to come out and only be spectators or only think that the parks are only for when you're in a, a league of or some sort, but that it's, it's a lifetime adventure. It's for active and passive recreation. Exactly, people, right? and we're going to tie our parks into the water trails we talked about. Um, so, because water is so, there's so much water around Queen Anne's County, but we need to have access to it. So we want to build that up as well, so the people in the county can enjoy not only the land-based recreation, but water-based recreation, and, and really enjoy this land of pleasant living that we live in. Well, look, at, I think you guys are doing a fantastic job, and I hope your crystal ball works out, okay? Yeah. And I'm looking forward to if we can work out a weekly place where we can take people to the different parks we have, Sounds all right? Good. Chip, thanks very much, Thank okay? You. Now, what we'll do when we get off air, we can talk serious Doctor Who issues. Gotcha. Right? Okay. <laughs> this is Fred McNeil. You've been with me and Chip Price, the Director of Parks, and you're watching Queen Anne's County TV 7 Up Close. My time is up. Thank you for your time. We're going to see you next time.